Hey guys, welcome back to Creatures, Caverns, and Crafting. Today we're going to take another page from the Mutant Crawl Classics to make ourselves a manimal. We're going to be using this gorilla here from the Adventure for Safari playset. We're going to do a little kit bashing, uh, taking some other parts from other toys, and uh, hopefully we'll come out with something that looks kind of like this. We're going to start the project off with some green stuff. I'm not a real big expert at this, but basically what we're going to do is just mix this together. We're going to flatten it out and start applying it across. Just try to make that coat. I'm also going to make some underwear here so our gorilla doesn't get arrested for indecent exposure. Again, we're just going to form it to the model and then we'll start smoothing it out. Once our coat's formed, I'm going to take some water and start smoothing the surface out. This is going to hide some of those uneven areas and maybe some fingerprints. My camera gets a little fuzzy here, but you'll get the gist of what I'm doing. Allow this to dry for about four hours. I'm going to be taking these glass beads I got from the dollar store for our next step. We're going to take some super glue. And we're going to use our tweezer pliers here. I've just put a drop of glue on the forehead and I'm going to pick up the glass bead and apply it like so. Then we'll take our second one and put on the other side. Just compress that a little bit. I would set it up somewhere, maybe laying on the back. And just allow that to dry. Next, we're going to use this Stormtrooper I found at the Goodwill. Notice he was broken whenever I found him, but waste not, want not. We're going to use him for our model. Here I've taken the arm from the Stormtrooper. What I'm going to do is just simply pin this onto the model here. And I'm also going to take the utility belt, and what I'll probably do is cut the pouches off, and we'll use that on the model as well. I needed to create a strap for the grenade belt, so I'm going to use this corrugated paper just cut along the seam like so. Here in a moment you're going to see the arm, the hand, and some of the pouches glued directly to the model. You're also going to see this strap uh, put to the side as well. I'll be using this zip tie to create the belt for our model. I'm simply going to just cinch it around the waist like so, and I'm going to put a drop of super glue here in the middle. What we want to do is create a belt buckle. Now when we start to apply these pouches and the belt buckles we may have to do a little trimming on the back end. That's just to get it to fit flush on the belt itself. And We're just going to put it against the glue, give it a tap, and just allow that to dry. Here's our model after we've allowed the pouches to dry. I want to note that we've also used those beads on the strap that we created earlier to create some grenade. To create the tentacles, I'm going to use some wiring. And just for support, I'm going to drill into the back of the model. Now when doing this, please be safe. Uh, once we've completed uh, the holes and we've put the wiring inside, we can start to build around that with green stuff. So I've already applied the green stuff to the wiring and allowed that to dry. Before it dried, I took a tip of a brush and just created the tentacle effects you see here. Next, I'm going to take a base and just drill a hole through it as well as the foot of the model. I'll be using a screw to pin these together. The model is just simply too heavy to rely on any type of glue. I finished the base off by applying some cork board and a broken piece of 3D printed concrete block. I then tied all this together using Earth Vallejo texture paint and then primed it using a light tan. Next I went on to the base paint. Uh, I used a field drab and chocolate brown for the fur. I used a war boss green for the shirt, a jean stiller purple for the glove and the underwear and a nickel for the arm and the gun. I also used a Castilla green for the tentacles and then I moved on to a wash. The washes I used was an Agress Earthshade, Null and Oil, and for the bluing effect on the arm I used a Dragonoff Nightshade. Just to finish the model off I went ahead and applied some pigments to the base. 
And that's a burnt umber and a natural sienna that I applied. It gives it a nice wasteland look. I also put a grass tuff and a skull to the model as well. And then went around the border with a black paint just to make it pop on the table a little bit better. I then added some highlights to the tentacle area with a light green and then went over the entire fur on the top of the head of the gorilla with a red and light tan just bringing out those facial features a lot better and then just added the eyes. Hey guys thanks for tuning in as always if you like the video leave me a thumbs up also please feel free to share and subscribe i'm getting more subscribers every day i intend to continue to provide you guys with more videos i'm trying to crank one out every week or so uh, we'll continue to do that and we'll also explore some other projects in the future as always please stay safe and wherever you are take care and we'll tune in to you next week bye